All right, here we are, round three. This one could get me somewhere, but I mean, I'm not going to go three at all, obviously, but here we go. So I'm going to keep this one. I know I've got the Infiltrator, which requires white, but I've also got Temple for a first turn play. And probably going to go with Bloodstained Mire so I can get my Taiga as soon as possible. Um, just so that I don't draw into it. I only have three basics in the deck, one, and they're all Grixis, so really my hope is to get a blue source. Mana Confluence would be ideal. But what's good about this hand is that I have double red off of it, um, double white. Uh, I don't think I have anything that's double black, so that's not really a concern for me. But I want to be able to get this out second turn, so really this temple, hopefully into a second temple, would be the nicest, uh, or into Tropical Island. Mm. All right, Duder is taking a minute, so I'm just going to pause it. All right, here we go. Temple, take a gander. Um, not really sure what he is, and I know I don't have any removal, but what I'm really after is the blue. So can only go with the information I have. All right. We are going to do Bloodstained. Just get the Taiga out now. Could get Crypt. Um, Verdant Catacombs can get Crypt. Verdant Catacombs can also get the Swamp. Um, I don't know. I think that one was like kind of a toss-up. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to helix that now. I don't need to deal with that later. I probably should have gotten Crypt, though. I honestly haven't seen green-white be played uh, that often, so... Kind of a new thing for me. Um, I do think I want the Blood Braid out now. I know that if I don't remove that Golem, I can't really get in with it. So, here we go. And it's cool that Blood Braid acts like, you know, it just is a haste 3-2 with some other thing attached to it. You just don't know what it is. I mean, I think when Blood Braid came out, it was really too strong, but now in retrospect, like, what it is, it is a really cool card, like, design-wise. And that's fine, too. I'm gonna Storm Breath next turn. Yeah, still no blue. Kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not gonna be the end of the world. So I have potential to deal 8 damage to something. Blood Braid has already dealt 6, so I'm okay with losing it. Um, to, uh, like, if I attack in here and it dies. So, like, if he has a Primeval Titan or something like that, I mean, so be it. Okay. Also something I can deal with. The reality here. Can't afford not to block. Probably trade Squirrel for Blood Braid. And then I blast him with a Brimstone Volley. And then I have Ralzeric to kill him next turn, even if he removes my dragon. So even in order to do an attack back, he would need to pay 5 for that, or res it. He's not really in a position to get a ton of damage back on me. Okay. So yes, this is a control deck. That was not necessarily how this deck is going to always play. I want more removal here, and I need less 
creatures. Um, Shadow Mage and Night Veil are both fine. Um, Oust, not the greatest. I took the beetle back out already. And I think Eternal Dragon, not as good here. I just need to be able to keep his threats off the board. And he clearly has a lot of creatures going. Anger necessary for the deranged tournament, obviously. But it also takes out um, Carving Caryatid, or Sylvan Caryatid, I guess it is. Alright. I'm going to keep this kind of the same mana base as before. Don't need that. Don't even want it. I know I'm like close to playing it, but I need something else. That is not the card I want right now. That is fine. So he has five mana. So he's very close to having his deranged hermit out. Actually, he's got it right now. Yeah. Kind of assuming the plan is not to keep it around. But, you know, I don't, I just don't know. If he wants to pay for it, I will helix it. This will at least, um, you know, take off some of the pain of the squirrels. <laughs> really hoping to draw anger of the gods here. Um, just can't really justify using any of my removal spells on these squirrels. But once I get the Siege Gang out, I'll be able to block all of them. So yeah, I'm really not in a bad place yet. Taken five here. That I will most certainly terminate. Get my taiga. I think. Yeah. Because Blood Crypt can be gotten by the Verdant Catacombs with something else. Or I should say, so can like a swamp, but I guess Bloodstain could get that too. Alright, so at least now I have squirrel blockers. Alternatively, I could have just cast death right there. Um, slaughter pack that can cast now. No questions. So you know, ideally it would be in response to him activating a fleece main. Okay, not a big problem. Actually, not a problem. He's already, like, way stocked up on mana, so kind of my least concern.
That's really obnoxious. Still want to block all the squirrels. Um, I can kill the Siege Gang, and then I would have Death Right and Siege Gang to both block. Okay, so even if he attacks all squirrels, then. Oh, that's what I should have done. Well, life's hard. All right, so when I tap out for the slaughter pact, I want to make sure that I have two red open. I'll have the mountain. Temple of Triumph is worth nothing to me. And so is Temple of Malady. So these are the cards I want open. Don't need. He has no cards in hand. He has four damage on the board. I have a Rift Bolt in hand. He drew a land. So the Death Rite's actually going to be a really good play here. Because even if he attacks all in, I kind of negate damage. Alright. Um, I'm going to play that. Leaving Temple open. Just going to cast this outright. The reason I'm leaving Temple open, of course, is so that I can use both uh, ways of Death Rite. I suppose I only have three things I can hit here. Okay. I just need to kill that thing. And I don't really need to board wipe yet because I've got this going for me. Which is a shock every turn right now. We got six damage off of it still just by having the three cards in my graveyard. Or I've got a ton of life gain with it too. That is attack with three or more creatures. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I think, is I'm going to shock him two times, and then I'm going to anger. That way he can't cast this, at least not for a while. I guess the most unfortunate thing is he can play a uh, fleece main and monstrify it immediately. Yeah. He didn't really have much against me. I had a ton of removal. I sideboarded in more removal against him, so his was like the perfect deck to play against mine as far as I'm concerned, so. Alright, uh, that was two and one in a Swiss. Um 
So, you know, just to show you, that's kind of the thing I like to do most, I guess, is the five color control. I think it's a lot of fun. You get access to everything. And usually you end up with one color that you can play the double uh, color of, and then just everything else is kind of a splash. So it's, in my opinion, the most fun. All right, well, we'll see you next time.